Debbie Birch and I'm with the Queen Anne's County Office of Tourism and we're here today to talk about an upcoming event. I have Liz and Debbie here. It's the Corsica River Watershed Awareness Day. Did I get that right? That's close. close. Okay. That's um, and it's on September 20th at Bloomfield Farm, which is right north of Centerville on 213. Um, it's where all the playing fields are, where the kids play. So tell us a little bit about the event. It's a, first off, let's get one thing out there first. It's free. That's it's, important. <laughs> correct. It, it's a free event. Um, we provide a lot of different activities um, for the kids and everything. The only thing that people do have to pay for is any food that they right. might want to purchase, but that's pretty much um, anywhere you go. Um, but this is actually the ninth year that we've Has been it doing been nine this. nine years? Wow. We started in 2006 with about 200, 250 people showing up that year, doubled it the following year, and it's grown. And for the past at least four years, it's been around a thousand people it's, coming. So it's kind of become a well-known event for our area. It is, and and I know a lot of people come from all over. So, so tell us about some of the um, the the activities that are going on during the day, throughout the days, and the music. You have music there. You have food. Tell us about the music. What who's playing and all that. Oh, we're going to have a wonderful bluegrass band, Danny Paisley and the Southern Grass. Ooh, they okay. They are very well known around here, and we were so lucky to get them. And they'll be playing from noon to four. Oh, awesome. Okay, so not only are there the activities, they can listen to that. Um, I know there's a lot of kids stuff that goes on throughout the day. Um, what are some I, and I have pictures from last year's event with some of the kids activities but tell us about some of those uh, well we have a great passport yeah. thing for the kids Which, to play yeah. with and Debbie should really tell you a little okay. bit about that this is something that we've done for the past oh probably since the second maybe the second or third year okay and it has quite we get questions from our different exhibitors and um, oh. it's it's all it serves a multi-purpose um, for one thing, it helps to educate people because there are a lot of different questions and you have to get the answer. Right. But it also draws people to the exhibitors. Right. So instead of just walking by, there, the, there the is different actually some. They have a reason to on. stop there right. and and you know in initiate some conversation with them. And you know once they get some of them just get the question and move on quickly to the other you know the next exhibitor right. or whatever. But a lot of times if they're with their parents, their parents will will, will pursue you know more information. Right depending on what the exhibit is. So um, it's been something that's awesome. been very beneficial. And then at the end, when the kids have their passport stamped, we have a little um, prize basket, and they oh, can wow. pick out a little little toy of some sort, you know, just a little little trinket. Okay. Um, so that's kind of an incentive also for them to do that. And I know one of my mm -hmm. favorite things, because I've gone to this event for a few years now, are the trees. The, Tell the us about the trees. <laughs> the trees is probably one of the biggest attractions. Uh -huh. And we started out... Um, I guess maybe the second or third year doing this, we uh, initially we got some trees from DNR, Department of Natural Resources, but not that many, and it was really really popular. So we, you know, kind of enlarged that, and for a couple of years we had a hundred trees. That wasn't enough. Now with the scope of people that we have, we found that 150 trees work. So we have 150 trees, native trees that we'll be giving out. And they include, um, in the past, I'm not sure exactly what we're going to pick right. out again this year, but um, they've included river birch, uh, tulip tree, um, American sy sycamores, uh, smooth alder, and one of the most popular, the sweet bay magnolia. A lot of people like them. So it depends on, we get most of them from environmental concern in St. Michael's, mm -hmm. and it depends on what they have right. as to what we can get. But the trees are... Um, they're nice the, size. They're nice size. They're about three to four feet. Right. Uh, trees are not these little whip things that are just, you know, bare roots. Right. So, um, yeah, people are really thrilled about the trees. We actually started to have to put up a sign saying no admittance and uh, no trees until after 12 o'clock because people were starting That's, to come. I was just going to say, we get there <laughs> early were just coming for that in reason. Early. I'm glad you told me that. I'll be there, I'll be there at 11.59 waiting. Yeah. People come in early to get their trees. Uh -huh. And then, you know, and exhibitors aren't necessarily ready you right. know, getting set up. Right. Even though we try and have everybody set up by 11.30, now we need to have everybody right. set up by 11 o'clock. So... Um, it's you know that's one of the most popular things, and of course we hold them there. We have a holding area, right. so people can they tag you know and pick their trees yep. and then go out and do you know enjoy the rest of the afternoon. So and the mm -hmm. event, who does the event benefit? Who's 
Well, the event benefits all of us, actually. It's, um, it's not, it's um, because there's no admission fee, we're not making any right. money on this. But the whole purpose of this is to educate people on what they can do to help preserve um, our not only our river, but all the waterways, because there are a lot of right. little tributaries. Everybody on the eastern shore lives within a half a mile of some form right. of tributary, however small or large, that eventually feeds into the Chesapeake Bay. Yep. So it's very important for everyone to... No, there's a lot of little things that you can do from, you know, when you take your dog out from, for a walk, you know, scooping the dog's poop, for example, right. um, you know, because the wharf Don't area, they, that out. they found out that there was a lot of contamination at the wharf and now they have one of those things there with bags. Yep. And, and we that's have those how. down at the visitor center. Exactly. Little things like that that help, um, right. you know, when you wash your car, it's actually better to go to a car wash than to do it yourself because the car wash water is recycled. Right. You know, um, watching what you put down the drain in your house or what you do outside. Um, having bay-friendly landscaping. There are a lot of different things. And then, of course, um, we've been involved in a water monitoring program. This is the 10th year that we've um, had the water monitoring program. And they use the data from that uh, Department of Natural Resources and Maryland Department of the Environment use that information to help study how the rivers, you know, what's improving, right. what's not improving what things they can do, et cetera, to help us look for future projects. And who is we? We is, <laughs> we is the Corsica River Conservancy. Right. Um, and we've been in existence since 2006. Okay. Okay. So. And, and you guys are the ones that put the event on every year. Yes. We are co-sponsored with uh, Queen Anne's County right. um, Department of Public, um, what's it Parks. called? Public Parks and Landing yeah. or something like that. <laughs> and the town of Centerville. Right. And um, they both help us tremendously. The, the county, of course, we're using their property. Right. And they do everything that we need to get it ready. So without that support, uh, you know, we, we just couldn't do it. Right. Um, but basically, it's the Corsica River Conservancy's um, baby, so to speak. I mean, <laughs> and it's... I Yep, and I have uh, up on the screen people can see your website and your mm -hmm. email address if they want more information about the event. But tell us one more time the date and the time. It is Saturday, September 20th from noon to 4 o'clock. And, of course, in addition to all the educational things, we didn't mention all the fun things, <laughs> including the pony rides. We have the, the same. tractor rides. We have the hay rides. Um, a couple of, we borrow a tractor from the Future Farmers of America at the high school, but the county has also provided a huge John Deere tractor that mm -hmm. everybody just says the wheels are higher than we right. are kind of thing. And then we have um, a petting zoo and we have face painting and um, kids. Rides yeah. And, mm -hmm. Do you do the pumpkins still? Are pumpkins, you doing pumpkin? yeah. I know the pumpkins the kids, are really popular. Yeah, the kids get to decorate the pumpkins. Uh, you know, we've tried a lot of different things over the years, including more crafty types of items. Mm -hmm. But it's an open area and it's pretty windy and the kids really enjoy painting the pumpkins. Right. So hey. we get about, you know, two to three hundred pumpkins and wow. we go through them. So, yeah, that's uh, between that and face painting. I think the kids. Uh, yeah. Face painting is always yeah. popular. And then, the, you know, the adults enjoy the hay rides and as well. Mu and you have the music going the whole time. And yes. then there's the food. So, right. um, you know, there's a little bit of something for everyone. And, you know, I and you have it rain or shine. Is that we have it rain or shine. Okay. We've right. been very, very We're not lucky. We're going to talk about that. <laughs> We've been very, last year a storm was coming in and it started to kind of rain a little bit just at the very end, uh -huh. but um, we, we got through it and so we've been very, very fortunate with our weather. Yes, we don't want to. <laughs> we won't jinx that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so. Well, wonderful. Well, thank you ladies for coming in and I hope everybody will come out. Um, don't get there before noon if you're going for a tree. <laughs> get that out there right yeah, now. Yeah, we just won't let people take That's them before right. then. That's it's, right. it's not fair to others. And, no, it's not. Um, you know, because there are people who don't realize, oh, if I'd gotten here earlier, I could have right. picked such an or whatever. So, Perfect. Um, well, again, the information's on the screen there, so people can go to your website and, you know, find out any more details that they need. And if anybody wants to be a sponsor, information's on there, too. So thank you so much for coming in. Thank well, thank you. you. We appreciate this opportunity. Thanks.